Namaste, this is Amar. Now, let's discuss about the Himalayas. Himalayas are the newly folded and the highest mountain range in the world. They extend from the Indus River to the Brahmaputra, from here to here. They are located at the north of the India. So, when we come to the formation of Himalayas, we have two theories. One is geosynclinal theory the, and the other is the plate tectonics theory. Under the geosynclinal theory, according to that, the rivers which were joining the Tethys Sea, they brought sediments and decomposed in that sea, which made the Himalayas rise. So, this uh, the sea which was present many years ago in this region was Tethys Sea. And next, according to the plate tectonics theory, as you know, the Indian plate has co collided with the Eurasian plate and because of the temp that pressure, the Himalayas rose and they were formed. So now, let us see the divisions of those northern mountains of India. So there are two types of divisions here. One is the physiographic divisions and the other is the longitudinal divisions or regional divisions. First, let us look at the uh, physiographic divisions of the northern mountains. So under this, we find two types of ranges. One is the Trans Himalayas and the other is the Main Himalayas. So first, let us look at the Trans Himalayas. In this Trans Himalayas, we find mainly three ranges. They are Karakoram, Ladakh and Zaskar. And also, we find another range, Kailash. Here, it is an extension of the Ladakh range. So let us look uh, in detail. First, This one, it is the Karakoram Bridge. So this is the Karakoram Bridge. It is the northern northernmost uh, range of the Himalayas, and also we find the second highest peak of the world. It is K2 in this region. This one. So this is K2. So its height is 8611 meters. And also we find a glacier here. Here in this region we find a glacier which is the second longest glacier outside the polar regions. So that glacier is Siachin Glacier. And also it is a battlefield, the highest battlefield in the world. So it is also situated in this Karakoram. So next, let's go to the next one. It is this. So this range is the Ladakh range. So Ladakh range the coldest, second coldest inhabited town is situated in the Ladakh range. It is this one. So this is Dras, situated in Kargil district of uh, Jammu and Kashmir. It is the second coldest inhabited town. And also we find a cold desert in this range. I mean in this region. Here. So in this region, from, from Leh in the north and to the Himachal Pradesh at the south, this is the only cold desert in India, situated in Ladakh range, in, in that region. Next, let's go to this range. So this is the Kailash range. So Kailash range is the extension of the Ladakh range. So here and also many important rivers like the Indus and the Brahmaputra originate from this range. Also the highest peak in this range is Mount Kailash. Next we go to this range. So this is Zaskar range.
So Zaskar is also known as Tethys Himalayas and we find the famous, uh, the, the, an important river in this. It, is, it flows between Zaskar and Ladakh ranges. So in this way, between this, the Indus flows. This is Indus. So then we find, let's go to the next one. And also in the Zaskar, we find the highest peak in Zaskar. It is this one. It is Kamet. It is situated on the border of Uttarakhand and Tibet. So we have completed the Trans Himalayas. Now let's go to the main Himalayas. So in, in the main Himalayas, the length of these Himalayas is 2400 kilometers from here to here and the breadth varies from place to place. Here in the Jammu and Kashmir region, it is approximately 400 uh, kilometers and here near the Arunachal Pradesh it is approximately 150 kilometers. So now let's see the uh, the different ranges in the Himalayas. So there are mainly three ranges. They are Himadri or Greater Himalayas, uh, Himachal or Lesser Himalayas, Shivaliks or Outer Himalayas. So these before going to in, in that these ranges are separated by major faults. Let us look at that faults. So let's come here. So this is uh, this is shown from here from this view in this way. So this is Tibet. This is Himadri, Himachal, Shivalik and the Ganga Brahmaputra plains. Now let us see the faults. So between the Tibet and Himadri we find Indus Suchar. Between Himadri and Himachal, we find the main central thrust. Between Himachal and Shivalik, we find the main border thrust. And between Shivalik and the Ganga Brahmaputra plains, we find the Himalayan front fault. So these are the faults which divide the Himalayan ranges. And now, let's look at the ranges. First, the Himadri. So from here, so Himadri is the highest range in the world. So it is the highest range in the world and also we find many different uh, peaks, many highest peaks in this range. So this is Himadri. It is a chained uh, range. So let us look at few important um, peaks, highest peaks. So first one, this one, as you know, it is Mount Everest. So it it's uh, it is the highest peak in the world with length with altitude eight thousand eight hundred and forty eight meters. Next, this one. So this is the Mount Kanchenjunga, and it is situated in Sikkim. It is the third highest peak in the world so this is the first one this is second one k2 as we had discussed and also this is the third one kanchananga so uh, the height of kanchananga is 8589 meters so next this one it is makalu then this one it is dhaldar and then this is an uh, uh, no this one is Dhaulagiri, not Dhaulder. And this is Annapurna. Then this one in Uttarakhand, it is the Nanda Devi. And here in Jammu and Kashmir, we find the Nanga Parvat. So these are some of the important peaks of this uh, of this range. So the Average altitude of Himadri is 6,000 meters. Next, let's go to the next one. So this is Himachal. So as you can see, this is not a chained one, a chained range like the Himadri. This is an unchained range. 
so let us see this is so this is himachal so let us see some of the important ranges of this himachal we find here this one is pirpanjal then this one is dholdar and this is mahabharat so in india pirpanjal is the longest one in uh, in himachal and only in himachal mahabharat is the longest one and we find many hill stations and valleys in the himachal range let us look at some important one so in hill stations we find mainly the dharmashala here so dharmashala has the highest cricket ground in the world it is also a hill station and then this one kulu then manali and then also shimla it is the capital of the himachal pradesh then when we look at the valleys we find first this one it is the kashmir valley then this the kangra valley and then this one kulu also a valley and as well as a hill station next uh, let's see the next one this one so this is the outer himalaya that is shivalik so this is shivalik so shivalik is the uh, southernmost range of the himalayas and in between the himachal and shivalik the longitudinal valley situated between himachal and shivalik are called as dunes so some of the important dunes are uh, dehradun kotli dun patli dun etc so then let's go to here towards the northeast region and here we find that the himalayas bend here at the eastern region and turn south so these are so uh, this these are patkai hills in arunachal pradesh and naga hills naga hills in nagaland manipur hills in manipur mizo hills in mizoram and barail hills in assam assam so these these hills together are called as purvanchal so these are purvanchal and also shivalik is called as uh, jammu hills in the jammu and kashmir and in the arunachal pradesh they are called as mishmi hills so then when we come to purvanchal so here also we find bearer kachar what kachar ah yeah shivalik kachar we call it in assam so when we come here we find these three hills also this in meghalaya these are gharo khasi and jaintia so these are also present in the northeastern uh, region so as we had completed the physiographic divisions now let's go to the longitudinal divisions of the himalayas so now we find these longitudinal divisions according to the rivers which flow through these himalayas so first the indus from the indus to the satluj so here is satluj so from indus to satluj we call these himalayas as kashmir himalayas and then from satluj to kali 
so this is kali river a tributary of ganga so in these are these himalayas are called as kumaon himalayas and from kali to tista a tributary of brahmaputra these are called as nepal or central himalayas and from tista to dihang or brahmaputra uh, these are the assam himalayas or the eastern himalayas so these are the divisions of himalayas and these are the about this is about himalayas and we cover the remaining ranges of the india in my next video thank you so one thing kali is not a tributary of ganga thank you